So, the old Mormon fort. We'll probably get a little bit of medical aid here as well and get rid of our addiction issue. Okay. Right. I wonder. Uh, you're a ghoul and you're wearing a cowboy hat. Howdy. Uh, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Uh, okay. So, what are you doing with the followers? I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right. But they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I don't disagree with you. I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Uh, sounds like you're a bit of a dom. Hey. Who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? You interested in working for the Garrets? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, this would be as an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. When I say escort, I mean prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out customers are looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Hmm. You've been independent with a deep discount on the booze, maybe? Hmm. <clears throat> They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out terms. Okay, so we recruited a cowboy. Happy days, we're doing well. Uh, hello. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, I, I need medical services. Um, I've got a chem problem. A common enough problem here in Freeside. Don't judge me. This will help you kick the habit. Can't help but be impressed with what they're doing here. I'm impressed Anything with it too. Else? Um, things seem pretty rough here in, uh, Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Is there anything I can do? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Okay, um, and you said something about, uh, you know, helping addicts. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Okay, tell me about Bill. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. Ah, uh, what about Jacob? The Garrets hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Okay, and where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. And I'll see what I can do. Sobering them up and putting them back to work. Okay, and if I wanted to calm things down, what would I do? The big man around here is the king. 
not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NC... Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Okay. Right. Okay, let's uh, speak to the individuals. Wayne, Roy, ah. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Uh, the king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, <laughs> we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. As we were leaving From the Wrangler. Nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. And do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it <laughs> happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Okay, so let's uh, Wayne, speak to okay. Wayne. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? Uh, he did. Uh, anything that you could tell me would help. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Uh... Every bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well. He's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Okay. Right, so we know that the chances are it was the NCR that caused this little ruckus. Um, and we know that we got the ghoul person sorted, hey. so that's good. Okay, so there's nothing around here, but aha! Hello, Mr. Man. You seen Dixon around? Julie Farkas sent me to help you sober up. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. That's true. Uh, why don't you stop drinking? Drop drinking? <laughs> I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm going to die. I, I can't stop now. How can you afford so much alcohol? Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm going to die if I stop drinking for a day. Right. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. So, we've got a drug dealer issue that we need to deal with. Let's go speak to uh, the king now and see if we can't maybe sort things out a little bit. Now that we know a bit about the lieutenant aspect. Uh, follow the dog. Ah, up the stairs. And around we go. Another flight of stairs. Aha! Hi. Uh, that's a lot of desks. And, uh, ah, hello. Uh, nice lady with very little clothes on. Did, did, wait a minute, did you just say later? All I do all day is read magazines. You'd be amazed what you can learn from them. Uh, uh, thank you. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Uh, the local men were attacked by soldiers, one of them identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? 
They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Look at the Ask dog. Around, particularly in the squatter <laughs> areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Okay. Right, so let's go back to speak with Julie. Personal space meaning anything to you guys? Chill out. These people, I tell you, they're so angry. Right, and let's, uh... Oh, requires a key. Uh, how do I get out of here? Ah, here we go. What's up? Alright, let's go back and talk to Julie again. Right, let's uh, find Julie. Now, I imagine she might be in one of these rooms. Yes, she is. Okay. Uh, anything interesting in here that I could nick? Let's uh, speak to her. Can I help you? Uh, do you know anything about NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? The King thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Okay, Was good there to anything know. else you wanted to talk you're about? You're a very helpful person. Okay. Right then, let's uh, head this way. It's said to speak to the squatter camps and things, and I've got a date with over here anyway, so let's uh, have a little chat. Uh, for starters, you're the ghoul I was looking for. How's ah! It? Hey man, can you spare a few caps? Uh, collecting money to pay back the garrets? Oh, yeah. I guess the garret sent you after me. Look. I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. No, I won't hurt you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fine. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. Okay, that'll do. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. Okay, and you hold hey, yourself man. differently from that man over there. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Uh, I sure am. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Uh, lay it on me. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. Oh, right, I like a good quiz. Go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Definitely Tandy. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Shady Sands. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? That'd be a two-headed bear. Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. How very helpful. Now, we want to go to Mick and Ralph's to find out about the robot. So let's head that way now. Maybe try and figure out what the sort of deal is. Speaking of which... 
You look shady as shit. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Uh, what are you selling? Have a. Uh, I will take the fixer, the whiskey. Definitely. Thanks. Uh, do you know anything about Bill Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted and to And I my like shit. the fact we're having this they conversation while enough. I'm off Pretty my head. Pretty hilarious to watch. Uh, I need you to stop supplying them. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. So the NCR are supplying you with cheap chems to keep Freeside down. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Okay. So, happy days. Now, you, sir, look like someone I should be speaking to. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Julie Farkas says you could, uh, you know, use some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. You look pretty bad, Jacob. You should probably stop using them. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him's at this point. I took care of that dealer. Now you need to clean up. What? I need a fix now. I want you to. Ha I want to help you get well. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. A combination of fixer, psycho, and buff out would do it in one shot. Never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. I've got the detox cams you need. Thank God. I thought I was gonna die if you didn't come back soon. Well, I'm gonna head to the followers fort to get some rest and detox. You've saved my life, friend. I know I have. Right, so that's him sorted. Hey. And we need to go to Mick and Ralph's in a minute, but I wonder what's over here. Uh What what do you want? Yeah, you're waving me over. Uh What? Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Uh, is that a friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Hey! Come on! Uh, come on. Ah. Right. I don't think I was that idiotic. Interesting. Okay. Right. Now, what's over here? The answer is apparently no one. Although, who are you? How are you today? Santiago is uh, fabulous. You don't have eyes. Uh... That's a problem. Uh Sir. I didn't think Right, so we've done pretty well. We've got money from everyone. Uh so that's a little bit of good news. Uh and Mick and Ralph's is the last place that we wanna head to. At least over here. Uh hello. If you're looking for guns, talk to Uh, do you know where I could find a sex bot? <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? The garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Okay, thanks. Uh... Anything else? Is one odd robot. Okay, and let's uh, speak to yep. Mick. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. For 
Uh, any special items? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? Uh, no. In that case, yes, I do. Follow me. Okay. Oh my god. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Okay, and let's see what he's got. Have you got any, uh, a boogeyman's hood? No, no. no it hasn't got any mods. Okay. Oh well. Howdy. Okay, so we know where to go to find a sex bot now. We've collected the money. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go and do the uh, the other side of things now. We need to go speak to Bill as well in a minute. And this was also where the NCR were going to be giving out food and things. So at the same time, let's try and figure that out. Aha, here we go. Let's speak to these fine gentlemen first. Hold up, what's the password? Uh, let's do speech 30 to if get the to XP. See the major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Oh, we're looking good on the old XP dumps. Here you go. I hope this helps. Hello. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen. Uh, do you serve food to the locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? Uh, why don't you serve the locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book. Mostly because of her. Well, that's good. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Okay, so we know what's hey. happened there then. And, yes, around this corner is where we can find the robotics center. Right, let's uh, head on through. We'll let uh, Veronica have her fun with the rats because we have just found our uh, individual that we were looking for. So there's an average lock on here. Upload programming routine. Run diagnostic. Okay. Uh, I don't have the hollow tape to turn it into a sex bot. Oh, I should have checked the thing, shouldn't I, more, more intelligently? Oh, well. Let's have a little look around. How did we miss? For the Brotherhood! I wonder if there's any star bottle caps or anything in here. By the looks of it, there isn't. Okay. Let's just head back to the terminal. No 
good. Okay, we need to get that holo tape. And what the hell? Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting pox. Uh Reload. It's girl on girl action. And she busted her head open. Well, so much for the uh, the old ladies. Good on you, you tried. Right, let's head back to Mick and Ralph's. Okay. Man, Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? Um, yeah. I don't know of any. But if he... Yeah, how about that? All right. Come back in a... Right, we got to come back in a, in a couple of days' time to get the uh, the tape that we need for that. So, I think in which case, it's probably time to go and speak, yeah, to the king again. And to Bill. We need to sort out Bill's addiction issue. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Howdy. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly. Okay. Come on, Bill. We're nearly there. Come on, man. I'm dying. Uh, you won't be seeing Dixon anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. I'm gonna die if I don't get a drink. You need to kick the habit. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox chems. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, uh, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. Regulating decreasing doses of booze a couple of shots of Fixer should do it. Man, you're one hell of an egghead. If you think it'll work, I'll give it a shot. And I've got what you asked for. I felt like I was dying these past weeks off and on, but the worst is yet to come. In a few days, though, I should be free. Good. I'll head over to the followers and see if they'll help me through this. Okay, very good. Right, let's go speak to the king now. The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. Hey there. Ah. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit. It's not and bullshit it's though, is it? The king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do it. Yeah, what's my silence worth to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, yeah, this should do it. Yeah, let's piss him off. Why, well, you lit. You're just lucky I got something important to take. I'm not a fan of Pacer, so I like to fuck around with him as much as possible. Right, let's speak to the king. You find out something about them. The NCR is distributing supplies in the building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. Do you find anything else? Uh. They're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said they sent someone to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? The man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. <laughs> that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King. We've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. 
Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Will do. Hi. Right, this seems urgent. Let's uh, go and sort it out. Oh, there you go, you son of a bitch. Look at him hiding, cowering like a fool. You there, keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Okay, so... This isn't really a good time. What did you want? The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him, he didn't even know the envoy was then sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Very good. Okay, not too bad, is it? Happy days. Right, so the situation has been sorted. Let's go speak to Julie as well. Uh, because she... We meant to tender a quest with her with regards to helping those chem addicts. We're uh, sorting out Freeside. In full. Hello again. I heard all about what happened. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Oh, and there's a level up. Want, name whatever you want. Don't... Okay, and Freeside likes us now, and we've got to level up. So, let's uh, dump some points. A couple of points here, and then let's get Lockpick up to 35. Uh, yeah. In fact, let's get Lockpick up to... Uh, let's get up... No, let's leave that there. Uh, the Barter, we want that at 40. Speech, let's get that to 60. And then we've got four points that we can just chuck in Lockpick. Running around the whole town, fixing all of the problems, yeah, at 1am. Like a madman. Uh, although... Thank you very much. Anything else you've got that's useful? Today's precision, but no. Now that you've gone to... Bed, bed. Can I help you? Uh, I help with the addiction problems. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Okay. And you said you need medical Rates supplies. Of injury. What do you need? Medic. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the... Which merchants might be willing you to might ask do around. a deal? Okay, the Garrets. Comes... Okay, so we can go to the Garrets and try and figure that out. Um... Okay. And the followers now think we're cool. We're making friends with everyone. Okay, so... Let's go speak to the Garrets. And speaking of which... Hey. Hey, chum. Welcome. So, uh, the followers need someone to trade for with supplies. Really now? They have the tech know-how. Getting our... What? Right, I'm just going to skip through these. Right, so, smooth, smooth talker. Would... Old Ben. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true. And I found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Her name's Beatrix and she should start immediately. Is she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. That's true. Well, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. That's also true. And another level up. So two in very quick su succession. Um, I think, hmm, guns at 50 is a nice round number. How about, hmm, I don't know, it's a tough one at this point, because there's quite a lot of skills that we can get up at once. Let's get speech up a little bit more, maybe to 70. Uh, let's get our survival up to 35, and then we've got two points left over, let's bung those in melee weapons. And we get a perk. So, uh, fully loaded shotgun as the answer to everything. You, you, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. 
I like shotgun diplomacy. Good idea. 